Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. First of all, I'd like to say please hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. Moving on from that, today I am going to be reacting to Andrew Scholl's Best Audience Annihilation. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. <clears throat> What's up UPS guy? Thanks for coming. Appreciate you getting dressed up here, dude. Wow, bro, you dress like Flint water. Because <laughs> they'd get too hungry. <laughs> Fido, come, come, Fido, come, come, Fido, come. Come right in, right in there, Fido. There we go. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. What is that that you got right there? That's a purse right there? You knew that I was going to talk about it. You, this guy wanted it. Look at this. Let me see this. Give me that. Give me that right now. Dude, you better keep a gun in here, bro. That's... The, <laughs> it's by Hugo Boss. Is that the guy that's going to be stuffing your mouth full of dick later? <laughs> now we're in West Palm Beach or Palm Beach? West, West Palm Beach. And uh, you said pressure? What'd you say? I'm not sure. You're not sure. Thank you for saying that out loud. I really feel like that got us somewhere. I love his work, man. Who the fuck answers the question without knowing? <laughs> In a room of 600 people. You would just be quiet, right? Like, that's what most people would do, right? Hey, is it raining outside? I don't know! I just want you to know that I don't know neither. We're on the same page. We should get to the bottom of this. <laughs> What's your name, buddy? Johnny. How you doing, Johnny? Happy as shit to be uh, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny, what is your question? All right. You know, um, women talk about, you know, how... What is your fucking voice? <laughs> this motherfucker sound... You know who he sound like? He sound like D-Ray. I'm like, where your blue vest at? I'm like, is that D-Ray? All right. Yeah. Women uh, talk about... You what are you doing with the Black Lives Matter like movement? <laughs> I really what feel you like you're about to say, okay, Anderson, we're on the scene right now, and it is going crazy down here in Baltimore. Things are wild. <laughs> Give us the scoop. All right, All right, Johnny, talk to us, for real, though. You know, women talk about how you... <laughs> hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop, man. You fucking with us, bro. You gotta be fucking with us, man. Half Portuguese, Haitian, and Trinidadian. Okay. Which, which one are you? <laughs> you Trinidad? That's what's up, man. I don't know what a Trinidadian looks like at all. Yeah. Can you point them out? Like, you can see them? Beautiful. Do beautiful people? You're a good-looking dude. That's what's up, yeah. No, you got it. <laughs> you got it. He's a good-looking dude. No, you look like Common with cancer. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, sweetheart? You're not smart. I don't think you're smart. I don't think you're smart. If you were smart, you would know that's what's funny about the joke. That's the exact thing that's funny about the joke. But I think your math brain isn't creative enough to understand humor. No, no, I'm being serious. No, no. I'm being, I don't think your brain is made for humor. It's not everybody. I'm sure you're really good at engineering. No, you're really good at engineering, ruining other people's nights. Um, that's fair. And look, there is a place to go if you don't like humor. It's, no, you shouldn't go to hell. Why would you go to hell? That's for funny people. You're not gonna ruin our time in hell too? How dare you, bitch? You gonna follow me to fucking hell, bitch? Not your fucking mind. I gotta deal with you here and in fucking hell. Oh, how are you, miss? Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you I'm talking. I'm clearly talk, I'm talking to you, but you wouldn't know that because you can't see me. I'm 
producer said, you are looking at me and not the speaker, so you might be lying about this guy. <laughs> With that shit, you had stairs, you were like, whatever, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking to your seat. You were one of those barely blind, get that disability check, get the comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the fuck out of you. Just to let you know, I'm Kevin Hart. Uh, <laughs> such a surprise guest. What's your back? You're Asian, right, miss? What type of Asian? You're Taiwanese? That's a good one. No, that's a good one. That's like China 2.0. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because Taiwanese, right? I'm getting that right. Taiwanese were like, fuck it, we out. <laughs> and then they were like, Japan's too far. Let's just stop right here. This island, <laughs> nah, this island's good. We're not going all the way. <laughs> he really is good in the uh, part where and you're, you're, like, you're like those Indians that made it to like Trinidad. <laughs> you know the Indians are like we're going to America and then the first island they're like fuck it pull over pull over this is far enough I'm ready black and white knew that shit pops is black or mom is black pops is black mom white that's what's up yeah you rarely see the other one <laughs> step it up sisters catch some white dick every once in a while what the fuck you know? we got good dick too been very exceeded. <laughs> but you know, it stays around. <laughs> no longer but stays around. <laughs> Dickhead! Yo, that's funny. Black guys' dicks are so big they can leave and still be in you. They're like, no, I'll be back. I'll be back. You just keep holding on to that. Okay, hold on to that one for a little bit. Well, I'll be back. I'm going to get some smokes. I'm going to get some smokes. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. Are they still together? <laughs> Did you just turn gay in the middle of your sentence? He's like, not if it's a nine-inch pistachio. Oh, you you are gay. Oh, really? You must have came out the pussy crying, bro. Like, <laughs> get this off of me! I don't want nothing to do with this! Yuck! Yuck! Ew! Ew! Why couldn't you just C-section me, bitch? Ugh! That's disgusting! You're not gonna, how old are you guys? just turned 18 yesterday. Let me, everybody stop. Let me help you, let me help you answer that fucking question again, okay? Do not ever say just turned 18 again in your life. This guy's trying to get locked up over here, right? If she's 18, you go 18, 18 and legal. Don't be like, <laughs> just it. turn. You're not the <laughs> fucking Brazzers title that you just gave me for her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, jailbait. You look like One Direction and you're about to go directly to jail. That's what's... <laughs> he was proud of that shit too, wasn't he, Steve? He's like, just turned 18 yesterday. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fresh as they come. <laughs> now, you guys weren't religious at all? Your dad is, but you didn't want, you found the area. You were whacking off at like 12. You were like, I can't go back. <laughs> Joseph Smith didn't have this shit right here. <laughs> Yo, if he had porn up, he would have never left New York. <laughs> he would have been in his basement like, I found Jesus. <laughs> I'll show you a Salt Lake. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Were you affected by it, bro? Yeah, you. <laughs> Who else was I looking at, bro? <laughs> you got an outfit on, dude. That's true. <laughs> Y'all can't see his outfit, but you came ready, bro. Did you bury somebody today? What is this? <laughs> Do you drive a stagecoach in the 1800s? What is this chandelier you got on your blazer? 
Stand up so everybody can see. He knew he was gonna I've go never seen someone down. stand up and get shorter. That was the craziest thing. <laughs> You see that guy get off the seat and then go down? <laughs> Punjabi, are you sick? Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick, that's what's up, man. I'm Punjabi as well. Fuck with six, man. Those are the dudes that wear the turban and shit. And they got that bracelet, that little silver bracelet. That's a badass bracelet. No, for real, because back in the day, that used to be a sheath that would protect them from swords because the Sikhs were the warrior class of people in India. And then over the years, you know, the meaning has changed. Now it's used to rest on the steering wheel of an Uber, but. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Andrew Schultz, best of audience annihilation. I wouldn't say it's the best, it is some of the best, I would say, because I've seen him do some very, very brutal, absolute brutal audience, uh, uh, crowd work and it is always brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love his way he how he treat uh, audience how he knows Every fucking thing about the audience that comes along like it's absolute brilliant He's very intelligent. He knows the geography. He knows the language they speak He knows what region they're from and also understand their culture and religion Which is absolute brilliant which is which helps him annihilate them every time and I, that's what I love about him. Like, he's very good at it, and I really, really love it. And I hope you did too. If you did, go ahead, click that subscribe button, man. You've been here before, so why not just go ahead. And if you enjoyed this, go ahead and check out the other videos I've done for Andrew Shields. And I'll see you guys next time.